Hey, hello, hi, welcome back to my channel today. I'm starting a week in my life vlog thing. I don't, I don't really know. I went to sleep at 1.23 on the door. My body decided let's wake her up naturally at 6 in the morning. Listen, I am not at uni. The first, like the first year is over. I have another three months of pure fucking bliss. Let me sleep the fuck in. Okay, usually I wake up around 11. But I had to wake up early today anyway, but I had an alarm set for 9, not 6. I brush my teeth, I look like a mess still. I, I look like shh. I'm still wearing the clothes from my pyjamas. So, you're gonna see this outfit like a hundred times on this channel because it's all I wear. But anyways, anyways, this morning I had to wake up early for two reasons. One, to book a doctor's appointment. And if you think that's uncommon, let me tell you, it's not for my life. So I have to do an e consult thing. I just yeah. So I'm doing that now, and then I'm gonna have a coffee because I am so tired. I woke up three times. I woke up at six. I woke up at eight thirty, and I woke up now because of my alarm. Okay. Ah, I forgot to say love you. Do you ever feel so bad? Oh. <laughs> So, here's the tea, here's the tea. We have 10 minutes until tickets go on sale. And Mia hasn't had a coffee, she hasn't had anything. Like, this should change the tea. But I did my doctor's thingy and they said they'd get back to me by Tuesday. So that's that. Now, I'm just gonna make a coffee, a nice coffee, and watch me flay all my arms around whilst trying to get the tickets to see the tea. Okay everyone, I have made my iced coffee but um, the ice is missing. What stupid 15 year old twat steals a, 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 an ice tray? Mine, my sister, my stupid 15 year old twat. Ah! One minute, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Right, I'm gonna try first on my laptop and if that doesn't work I'm gonna do it on my phone. Second, it turns ten. Well, I'm in the queue, and I have a feeling this is going to take a long time and be very hard. So, um, I'm going to talk about. <coughs> Whoa, I'm going to talk about my plans today. Um, today's a very chill day. I'm home alone right now until about 4 p.m., which is very usual since I'm not at uni. My whole family is school, work. Tonight, around seven, I have a Zoom podcast episode recording if you don't know about my podcast i have a podcast called the brain of a film junkie and it's about basically just me and my friends laughing for an hour or two about our favorite films and like obliterating them even if we love them <laughs> so we're doing an episode today and uh, me and my friend molly are doing an episode on fantastic mr fox i promise like it, it ranges we do like the most deep movies to like I literally did an episode on Nemo, which isn't out yet, but that was one of my favourite episodes. So yeah, uh, you should go listen to it, I will link it down below. I love my podcast, I love doing the episodes. I think this is in a weird angle, but if it is, I don't care. So I got Billy tickets, well, a ticket, for next year, June 16th. Now I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. I'm going to be watching um, Master of None. I started binging yesterday. I'm on like episode 7. It's so good. Season 1. I think that's like it today. It's It was more of like an early chaotic morning and then it's a chill day and then I've just got like that one work thing tonight. Um, tomorrow though, I'm supposed to be going out with my friend Kai uh, into the city and I'm really excited. So I will see you guys tonight. I look awful. Oh, I just woke up and I look I forgot to film yesterday when I was doing the podcast and it's because me and my friend Molly spoke for three hours and I got so distracted. Um, but today I'm seeing my friend Kai who I haven't seen for months and I haven't even left the house for like three weeks to see other people. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to shower and get dressed. The doctor said they'd call me today, but they haven't, so that's life, that's life, it's funny as it seems, dun, dun, dun. yeah, I'm good. I'm all up. I don't know how I feel about the outfit, but I haven't almost dressed in a year, so 
first thing that happened. Plus I'm wearing my big fat chunky punk boots so I think that will rock it up a bit. I don't know what bag to take because I want to take the camera but usually I would take the smaller black bag but I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll see you later. Some new view, 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 viewers. This is Mia. I think you're way too close. No. Yeah. We are having. Oh, Chinese. Is it Chinese? Thai. It's not Chinese, guys. It's actually <laughs> Thai. I've been informed. Um, it's very sexy. I have spilt it everywhere. <laughs> but that's okay. You've been today. Great. What have you been doing? The people want to know what the people want to know. I filmed a lot of what we've done. Have you? Yeah. She says she's filmed a lot of what we've done. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that got in. Did it? It's going to be like zoomed into a <laughs> Okay. I think I got in. We will find out after. Mia. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Okay. But you have to reply with the incorrect answer. Okay. Okay, guys. How do you spell halloumi? H-E-L-L-O-U-M-A-E. -L -L I think that might be correct. Yeah, I think that too. Guys. She thinks I say swag too much, which is actually incorrect. You can never say swag too much. You do. No. Oh, well that Mary. happened. Yeah, I'm not doing it on purpose, so it's ethical. I don't think that's how that works. I think it's ethical. If you, if you don't do it on purpose, I think it's ethical. No. Okay. Question for the viewers: Is it ethical? <laughs> I look insane. Is it ethic? Oh my god. What? I'm literally talking to a piece of plastic, but it's literally recording me. How sick is that? Like, you can fucking turn plastic into a camera. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it is ethical to litter if you don't know you're littering. Like, if you don't know it dropped, then it's okay. You do know it dropped. You I didn't it know. Right. Is there anything? you would like to say to your 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 cavens the Mia Cavens I am Mia Caven. Oh you've been a, a, a number one Mia Caven. 
I'm actually a number one Mia Caven, guys, so if you think you're a number one Mia Caven, you're probably not. Because that's my space. Thank you. My space. Oh my god, wow! Okay, we can see your face now. Hey, Mia. Hi. Is there anything you want to say to your Cavens? Because you didn't actually give me a message for them. What are their names? What are their names? Humans. Is there anything you'd like to say to your humans? To my humans. Do I rule the world? Yeah, we knew this. What, like me and Kevin take over the world? Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything you'd like to say to the humans? Ignore pie. They say swag. Wow, so now this is what you call homophobia, racism, anti-Semitism, sexism, ageism, smallism, Smallism. Yeah, you're five foot fucking eight, are you not? Five seven. Yeah. Nice. Could you imagine? Imagine is a song by Ariana Grande. Imagine all the people. people. That wasn't the song. That, <laughs> that was John Lennon, guys. Fun fact about John Lennon. Ooh, ooh. Two hours before he got shot, he signed his killer's signature. His killer asked for his signature. And there's a photo of him signing it and the killer's like smirking in it and then an hour later he shot him in the exact same spot. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't even know they knew who killed him. Yep. They called me, but I forgot to mention it yesterday. Um, apparently, I have two, one or two things. So, either sciatica, which is like a trapped nerve, or a sprained muscle. I thought you could just strain muscles, not sprain. But that shows you how smart I am. <laughs> My right leg has been fucked a week. 
um, like it hurts, but it's also numb and very weak. And then I will get like tingles all up it, and yeah, and it, yeah, it kills. I'm on painkillers every day, but they said if it doesn't go within a month, that's when I should be worried because sciatica and a sprained muscle can last for a few weeks. My plan today. So I was out yesterday, as you saw, and every day uh, for the past two weeks, I think, a week, maybe, I have been writing 5k a day in my new book. Um, yesterday, I only got to write about 3k because I was out for the majority of the day. But today, my chill day, <laughs> is me attempting to write 7k today. Like, I'm just going to be drilling this writing into my brain today and I'm not allowed to procrastinate <laughs> or do anything along those lines which is fine but yeah so I'm gonna go write start writing I will see you guys tonight or tomorrow I don't know I'll see you we have a balcony so the entire family's on it and I'm being dragged onto it too but if I can get some sun why not you know Plus, the pill is giving me boobs, so I might as well show them off. I'm gonna quickly cut my fringe because it is growing way too quickly for my liking. It's about 4 pm. I woke up at 12. <laughs> and I've written 2k out of my 7k, so it's taking me four hours to do that. <laughs> Hopefully, by midnight, I can write 5k. I don't know. I really hope so, but I'm gonna go right on the balcony after I sort this out and I don't even know, figure my shit out. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I mean, it's not that much better, but it is better, so. I don't like doing it in too much because I've fucked my fringe up before, but oh well, I'm gonna go outside now.
Today I was supposed to do a podcast episode tonight, but because it's my biggest podcast episode with about five other people, one of them can do it, so we're postponing that to Friday, which is fine. However, I have quite a lot to do today anyway, but nothing that I can really show, so I'll try to show what I can. One of those things is my job. <laughs> uh, I have to get to a couple readings. I'm a tarot reader, but I'm today I'm doing my intuitive readings, so it would be kind of cool if I could show you me doing my tarot stuff, but they're intuitive readings today, so I can't really <laughs> do anything to show you that. The second thing, which is so insane to me, is I'm officially doing the second draft of my fifth novel and I wrote this novel in two weeks and I haven't written a novel in that amount of time since my first novel when I was in Los Angeles in 2018 and then I started to write like a novel every three months and then I stopped writing for a year because I had no inspiration of the sort so something hit me and very luckily I got a fifth novel out and so um, I'm doing my second draft of that today. Drafts I love doing, they're really quick, they're really easy, at least for me. I could probably finish the second draft today. This book is the first book that is dedicated to someone else, so um, for his birthday I wanted to finish it and like print it, do like a one print and he will have the only copy of it in the world. So once I finish the second draft, it's a chill day. Yesterday I kind of had like a mental breakdown and it's kind of continuing. Uh, thank God that this is my therapy week. I see my therapist tomorrow. We'll do a whole mental health catch up next week when I'm filming this. Um, in Crying Corner with Caden or something do a little like a little update chat kind of thing i'll see you guys tomorrow properly probably <laughs>
I don't want to touch it until the end of retrograde. Like, I literally want to avoid everyone and everything for that amount of time. I'm suffering. How did that happen? Five seconds, more bitches. I'm so. I'm mentally ill. Why aren't you letting yourself just breathe and be? I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to just ground myself and be, you know? I'm trying to heal shit. Because I feel like every fucking night something up, something comes up and I'm like, do you want to cry about this? I literally cried on the toilet for an hour the other night. It was 1am. And I was like, Mia, you literally feel like crying. Just cry. Like, now is a great designated time to just sob your eyes out. <laughs> I'm literally like having sex with a breakfast bar. This week I'm going to cry. Probably. It's a 50 50. It's not like a certainty. But it, it is, it is on, the, on the table. Okay, my camera's being a dickhead and I have to say this really quickly, but I will see you guys later and I will try to update you on after therapy. But if not, I love you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.